Hey guys, so a couple of my friends needed help on math, so I guess while well, I'm here, so I'll just film a YouTube video. So today I'll be teaching about trig, and I'm only going to teach the basics, which include sine, cosine, and tangent. So basically sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So it, it, if we have like a triangle right here with sides A, B, and C, and we're trying to find sine of this, we're basically saying A over C. Now sine Y, which is right here, is opposite, which is B, over hypotenuse, which is C. So sine Y equals B over C. Next we have cosine. So cosine's like the sandwich. Like so if we're trying to find cosine of this, it's adjacent, which is like, uh, yeah, it, it's like the side next to you and over hypotenuse. So since B is next to this thing, then we're going to put B as the numerator. And since C is like the hypotenuse, then C will be the denominator. So cosine of theta, like, like that's the name of the sine, is B over C. Now cosine of Y is adjacent, which is A over hypotenuse, which is C. So cosine of Y equals A over C. Next up, we have tangent. So tangent of this thing is opposite over ad adjacent. So tangent of theta equals A, which is the opposite side, over B, which is next to the theta. So tan Y is opposite, which is B, because B is on the opposite side, over adjacent, which is the side next to y, which is a. So tan y equals b over a. There's actually an easy way to remember this. I don't use this personally, but apparently a lot of people do, so I'll just mention it. It's called S-O-H-C-H-T-O-A. Sokotoa. So the S is for sine, and sine is opposite over hypotenuse. The C in K is cosine, and the A is so it's adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent, so so katoa. So now, moving on to calculators. So calculators, um, it might be hard to like get used to at first, but it'll get easier. So there's like an online calculator and a physical calculator, but I'll, ju I'll just do an online calculator for now. I'll explain physical calculator later. So you search up calculator Google, like I used to be able to just search up calculator and then results will appear, but now I have to search up calculator Google. So um, the first step is you got to change from radian, which is this sign, to degrees. Um, this, this sign is at the top left part of the calculator, and you always have to change it from radian to degree or else your answers will be like really funky. Okay, now... Here's a easy trigonometry problem. So we're supposed to find the value of a and y. So first, oh wait, a, y, and theta. So first, let's find, um, so we can say cosine of theta equals 5 over 7. You see, because theta is sandwiched in between a line that's 5 and a line that's 7. So, and adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's cosine of this equals 5 over 7. Sine y equals 5 over 7 because 5 is on the opposite side <clears throat> and 7 is the hypotenuse. Uh, for y, you can also do like tan, tan y equals 5 over a because it's opposite over adjacent. and Or you can even do cosine y which equals a over 7, but I'm just using 5 and 7 because they are like the known variables. So let's first tackle cosine theta equals 5 over 7. So here's what you do. You hit the, so after, uh, on your online calculator, after you hit the degrees symbol, like you changed it from radians to degrees, you gotta hit the inverse button. It's I and V, and it's like right below the radian slash degree sign. And after you click that, the cosine, sine, and tangent symbols should turn, and now they should have like this exponent thing, exponent thing that's like negative 1, so now you have to click cosine to the negative one power because we're take we're using cosine right here, and then we type in we type in five over seven. So here's what your equation should kind of look like. It should say arc arc cos 
and then parentheses 5 divided by 7 and then end parentheses and then after you hit enter you should get a degree of about 44.4 degrees so therefore theta is 44.4 degrees now let's do sine y equals 5 over 7 so we hit the inverse button again because this is like you, you can't simplify this anymore you, you can't multiply anything and plus the sine y which is like the variable is already isolated so you hit the inverse button click sine to the negative 1 power and then enter in 5 divided by 7 you should get something that kind of looks like arc sine 5 divided by 7 which is about 45.6 if you click enter so y equals 45.6 and since theta and y equal like Theta equals 44.4 and y equals 45.6 and both of these equal 90 and there's already a right angle so this is like the correct answer. And the sine, the sine, tangent, and cosine functions work prim only on like, like, like the opposite over adjacent or something like that. The, those functions only work on right triangles. Like there are functions that work on all triangles but the functions are like more complicated. Um, so now you're probably wondering what what does like this negative one thing like how does everything work? So let's suppose we have the equation sine theta equals five over seven. We can times by the inverse of sine, which is sine to the negative one power. Equal, so we times it on both sides. Then the sine to the negative one power can like cancel out with the sine, leaving theta alone. Like, like, cause the inverse creates one, so one theta equals sine to the negative one times five over seven. Now for uh, um, now now we're trying to solve for a. So we can there's actually many ways we can do this. We can use the Pythagorean theorem, like a squared plus five squared equals seven squared. We can use tangent, um, tangent of theta equals a over five because a is on the opposite side of theta and 5 is the adjacent side. We can use sine theta equals a over 7 because a is the opposite side and 7 is the hypotenuse. We can also use cosine y equals a over 7 because a is the adjacent and 7 is the, um, the hypotenuse. And we can also use tan y which equals 5 which is the opposite over a. So let's tackle tan theta first. So tan theta equals a over 5. We can times 5 on both sides to isolate the, a, isolate the a alone. So therefore, now we have the equation a equals 5 times tan 44.4. Um, so to type this into your calculator, you got to type in 5 first, then hit shift 8, which should be that asterisk, 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 okay, whatever, which is supposed to be the time sign. Then you type in T, stands for tan, and the first time I started using online calculators, I used to always type in T-A-N, but then the calculator interprets interprets it as tan of answer, so ju just type in T, and then 44.4, and then hit enter. So basically, here's what your equation should, something should look like. So we get um, that A equals about 4.9. Now let's type, sorry, now let's tackle another type of equation that we haven't covered yet, and it's tan y equals 5 over a. We can times a by both sides and divide by tan y on both sides, isolating a because that's the variable we want. So we get a equals 5 over tan y, and y is 45.6, so we can like input that in. So then, so to type this out, we do 5 and then the d divide sign, which should be like a slash, and then we type in T for tan, then 45.6, then you hit enter. And this should bring out our result, which is about 4.9. Let's check our answer with the Pythagorean theorem. So A squared plus 5 squared equals 7 squared. A squared plus 25 equals 49, minus 25 on both sides to get A equals square root of 24, which is about 4.9. So, now let's take a look at physical calculators, if you have, like, one of these calculators. So, first you hit the degree symbol, which is right here, until you see, like, the DEG on the, on the top part of the calculator. And, like, yeah. So, to type in, 
an equation like cosine of theta equals 5 over 7, first type in 5 over 7, 5 divided by 7, and then you click the second button, which is the highlighted green in the top left corner, and then you click the cosine button. And basically what this means is it just puts in uh, cosine, like the inverse of cos, cosine times 5 over 7. Now let's take another look. Tan 44.4 equals 9 equals a over 5. We can times 5 on both sides, so we do 5 times tan 44.4 equals a. So first we enter in 44.4, then we click the tan button. Then, then that so that that answer is tan 44.5. Then we click then we click times 5 because we need to times 5. Yeah, and that should bring our bring out our answer for a. Next, we have to enter in an equation like tan 45.6 equals 5 over a. So we can do so after simplifying this equation by timesing by a on both sides and then dividing by tan 45.6, then we should get an equation that looks something like this. So first, we enter in 45.6, then we click tan. To get tan 45.6. Now this is the part where I d really don't like physical calculators because they're like it's just really difficult to use. So after you enter in tan 45.6 you have to write down your answer which is like 1.02. Then you type in 5 divided by the answer which happened to be 1.02 and we would get our answer. So yeah um, there will be trig worksheets in the description below. I will leave links to many, and after maybe 10, 15 problems of like this basic trig, you're pretty, you're gonna be pretty fast. So yeah, thanks for watching.